Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Come around, holler at me right quick. Come around, come around, it's time for me, Valley. So I got a question for you, right? You go to church? Yeah. So you go all the time? But you try to you try to go every once in a while. I feel that, right? So I got a question. In the church, in the church, did they teach you that God only loves one people? No, they ain't teach you that. So you as you you a Christian? So you being a Christian, does God love everybody? Or Jesus? Do you believe in Jesus? Did Jesus come for everybody? Or did Jesus come for a particular people? So from what you thought, he would came from everybody. So from what you thought, is Jesus a white man or a black man? You believe he's a black man. Okay, all crazy. But was you taught he was a black man or you just believed him? Your grandfather, okay, he taught you he was a black man. But he also taught you that he came for everybody, right? So I'm going to read you what the Bible say. Because before I came into this truth, I will not worry about no Bible. You know what I'm saying? I might have read the Bible every once in a while, but I wasn't doing what the Bible say. So I didn't really understand what it was talking about. Right now, we're going to give you understanding. Because what you're going to do with this understanding is help take it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Listen to this, Doug. What you got? This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 15 and verse 24. Verse 21. Verse 21. Then Jesus went this and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidon. Now the coast of Tyre and Zidon, that's in Africa. Them two African kingdoms, right? So Jesus Christ, a black man, he went to another coast and dwelt amongst other African people, right? Because not everybody, is, just because they dark don't mean they're the same people. Right? You understand that, right? Right, read on. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. So a woman of Canaan, a woman who lived in the land of Canaan, he came out to see, she came out to see Jesus, right? Here we go. And cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. So this, her daughter was possessed by an evil spirit, right? The evil spirit was making her do evil things. So she came to Jesus asking for help, right? So Brother Dirk, from what you know so far, what you think Jesus is going to do? So, he going to come for the people that he, that he is he going to help this lady and her daughter? Yeah. Okay, let's see what the Bible say. Read what you got. But he answered her not a word. What did it say? But he answered her not a word. It say Jesus straight up ignored this woman. She came to him with a problem, but he ignored her, right? Now, that, that might spark something in your mind, like, why would the Son of God ignore somebody who need help? Come over here, man. Come over here. Because we don't, we don't want to get that sound in the video. Come next to the speaker. Why would the, why would the man of the Lord come and ignore this woman, right? Let's see what it says. Here's your God. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying. So the disciples came after that. So the disciples see the woman cry, she came to them now, right? And what the disciples say? Send her away. They say, make her leave. Now you might think that's mean. You might, but God got a purpose. And we're going to explain that to you, right? What did you got? For she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Bible says, he said, I'm not sent, but to nobody except for the house of Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he said, I'm only coming on this earth to heal the Israelites. You understand what I'm saying? 
so God got a particular group of we dealing with. That's and when we come out here to show you, you an Israelite, brother. They not teaching you in this church because your grandfather was a reverend, right? And he might have been sincerely trying to follow God, right? But the things that he learned was passed down from us from slavery. So he probably didn't really understand because the white man tried to dilute the gospel of God. So now, you being his grandson, you got a chance to take the Bible to another level. You feel what I'm saying? But God said he only sent to who? He but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So who is the Israelites today, Brother Dirk? Those lost black people. I want you to take a look at this sign right here, Brother Dirk. Now on the left side of the sign, on the left side of the sign, you got the names that we was given in the Bible. On the right side, in parentheses, you see the names that our slave masters give us. So where do you see yourself, Brother Dirk? You say Judah? Guess who else come from Judah? Who is the Lion of Judah? Jesus Christ. You come from the same bloodline as Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is your brother. Why is it nobody never told me that? You got to ask these questions. You got to think about it. If the white man brought us here in slavery and told us we wasn't nothing, he told us we was niggas, he told us we was the scum of the earth, and we was only made to be slaves, well, he did turn around and say, but you related to Jesus. But you really got chosen people. Will he ever do that? No, and that's what they teach you in them seminary colleges. Like your grandfather probably went to a school when he was young to learn the Bible. That's what they taught him. That's what they teach our people to this day. Right. They teach us a lie. And we go and spread that lie. But we can't do that no more. You from the tribe of Judah. Look at what the Bible says. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident. It's evidence on the earth. It's, uh, uh, Different photographs you can go to. I mean, different paintings you can go to for evidence. It's different. You can dig up the soil. I mean, what they call it? Archaeology. Archaeology. Different. There's a lot of different proof on the earth that what? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It's evidence on the earth that our Lord come from Judah. That's why they call him a Jew. You ever heard somebody say I'm a Jew? That's short for Judah. That's right. Jesus Christ was a Jew. He was from the tribe of Judah. Right. You're a Jew. You're from the tribe of Judah. Let's see what the Bible says about the tribe of Judah. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates they are laid. It say Judah mourning. That means they in pain, they in agony. They hurt in the streets. They hurt out here. Why? Because the police shooting us down at alarming rates. Yes. Why? Because we filling the jail cells and we filling the uh, we filling the graveyards. Right. That's why we in mourning. We in pain. Just like the brother Nipsey Hussle. He's trying to help his community and his own people turned around and killed them. Yes. We yes. mourning out. Teach them out. And the gates there are what? To the murder. In the gates, they love language. The gates is where you go for leadership. In the Bible, you used to go to the gates. You used to go to the gates to build up. But they language. Why? Because we got weak leadership. They give us Jesse Jackson. They give us Al Sharpton. They give us all these different leaders that's not helping our people. They robbing our people blind. You got Creflo Dollar. He want a $60 million check. Teach him all right. Why the people in Atlanta is starving. But he got a $60 million jet. Bring it out. $65 million jet. While we in Flint, our waters been poisoned by the white man. Bring it out. He can fly around good. You understand what I'm saying? We in mourning. But what else is say about the tribe of Judah? We to the mourning and the gates their own language. They are black. What did he say? They are black. But all my life, I've been told Jews was white people. What did the Bible say? They are black. It's a, God said that real Jews is black. Black like what? Unto the ground. Like you look down, Brother Dirt, and you look at the dirt. What color the dirt is? It's black. And the deeper you dig, the darker it gets. That's right. He said that's how the tribe of Judah is. That's right. The deeper you dig, the darker it gets. It but it's, then you gotta ask yourself, who is them people with them big hats walking around saying they the Jews? They say I'm Jewish. They got them, uh, what they call that little spinning thing? A dreidel. And they run around saying we're the Jews. We celebrate Hanukkah. 
We celebrate the holidays in the Bible. Right. Who is them people then? Let's see what the Bible say. Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Read it I know thy works and tribulations. He talking to the tribe of Judah. This is Jesus Christ talking to the Israelites. He said, I know your works. He, he know you struggling. He know we struggling as a people. Teach him how. He said, I know your tribulation. I know you went through a 300 years of slavery. Right. You got out of shadow slavery and they set up Jim Crow laws. Right. The KKK came out and they hung you from trees for being a black man. Then you, then you come up to 2019 and you get shot down on the street for having a cell phone, for pulling out a cell phone. He you know your tribulations, brother. Right. Who did you got? I know that works. And tribulation. And poverty. And he know we poor. Is them people that say they Jewish, is them people poor? Hell no. You're right. They own the music industry. They own the diamond district. All the music that you hear coming out on the, uh, the radio nine days, they pressing the button for to expose it. And it's all garbage. All the music's telling us shake that ass, smoke the weed, do drugs. Nah, that's all the music say. And then we go out and act out the music. But they the ones pushing that stuff into our community. That's right. Right? Read what you got. Read, read, read the next part. But thou are rich. He said, but we really rich. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is for us. That's right. The, in the kingdom of heaven, we going to rule the earth. That's right. It was a time on the earth where the so-called Israelite man, the, I mean the Israelite man, the so-called black and Hispanics, we ruled under King David, under King Solomon. We had the white man that served. We ruled over them. But then what they did, they got mad, they got loose, and then they going to pay back. And what they did when you got on slavery, they beat you, they beat your name out of you, they made it so you couldn't read, so you didn't even know what happened. You didn't even know, know you was ruling over them. And because all people hate this Bible so much, they say it's the white man book. The white man gave us this Bible. They never read it for themselves to even figure it out. But when you rich, this Bible says this, the Bible, this earth belongs to us. We more than just a block. Everything, everywhere you see, touch your foot. God said he'd give it to you as a as a, as an Israelite man. But listen to this next part. Look what you got. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. He said, I know the blasphemy. What do blasphemy mean? A lie. You on the money. You on the study. That's what I'm talking about. What do you say? Read again. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Who are who running around saying they're Jews? Bring it out. Is, it, is the black man in the hood running around saying he's a Jew? Or is he saying I'm a street nigga? I'm from Flint. Or is he saying he's from Jerusalem? Which one is it? Right. We definitely don't consider ourselves to be Jews. So who is it that's saying that they're Jews? The white man. Right. right, he said, do you know to read that again? You know the what? And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. What did he say? And are not. He said they not the real Jews. Right. They ain't black into the ground. Yeah. They ain't go through no trials and tribulations. Yeah. They ain't go on um, bondage on slave ships. Yeah. Right. He said they not the Jews. But why are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. He said they the synagogue. The synagogue mean chief house. He said they they the chief house of Satan. They don't go no higher than them. They dealing with Satan directly. You understand that? They the chief. They stole your nationality and said we the chosen people now. They niggas. They ain't nothing. And they got the nerve to tell you that that you don't take care of your babies. You don't you don't handle your responsibilities. But they stole everything from you. That's right. Three verse. Go jump to three verse nine. Cause God got a message for them, and God got a message for us. Listen to this. Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter three and verse nine. Bring it up. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet. What did it say? I will make them come and worship before thy feet. God said he going to turn it around. The same way we had to gravel, we had to serve, they going to have to come before us. And bow before us. Bow before the presence of the chosen people. We know and to know that I have loved thee. God said they going to know that God loved us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.